morning, Milken. Up and coming, April 3rd, middle school Disney Descendants play. Make sure you get your tickets. And uh, seniors, don't forget to buy your prom tickets because without them you can't go to prom. And that would be a bummer. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Make sure you go to prom. Also, this applies to not just the seniors, but a new schedule has been announced for next year. Be sure to check your email to find out where you will be going to class. Actually, wait, that's a lie. You're not getting your classes yet. Be check your email for how it works. <laughs> the Roar is coming out with our first print edition in five years. You can pick up your copy in the amphitheater during Oneg, or you can grab one anytime from the library or the Garen. We hope you enjoy reading, and just remember after you're done to please return your copy to the racks in order to stay as environmentally friendly as possible. Thank you. Hello, this is Benjamin Adut with this week's Farsi Word of the Week. Today our word is del. Del means heart in uh, poetry, um, but it also means stomach. Colloquially, it means stomach. Medically, uh, heart is ghalb. So in poetry, when they're referring to something more romantic, they will talk about the del, but um, ghalb is what they would use in schools, uh, universities. Um, and to say you're missing someone, you would say, delam tang shod. My heart has tightened. Um, so yeah, it's a very poetic language. Okay, hold on, Costco. You ever, you ever take the samples at Costco? Sometimes, you know, when it looks appealing and my mom's not around. I haven't once. I've never taken. Then you haven't lived. They're ambushing us with candy. They're ambushing us with candy. Is this what Costco's like? No. Natalie, do you like Costco? I have never been to Costco. Cameraman. Do you try the samples at Costco? I do. So what do you have to tell Miles? Because he said he's never tried Costco samples. He's not living, right? It's a canon event to try Costco samples. This label. This label. Are you excited for the spiel? I am excited and scared and nervous. I don't know one word of it. I don't know one word of it. I have not watched it. I'm going to be surprised. It's finally your moment to shine. You've deserved this for way too long. Oh, my gosh. Miss Labo. Okay, let's go ask people what their favorite Purim tradition is. Noah Aragi, what is your favorite Purim tradition? What is my favorite what? Purim tradition. To dress up and eat some delicious cookies. Hamantashans are the best. That's right. Let's ask Alex. Excuse me? What's your favorite Purim tradition? Um, probably the spiel. The spiel, everybody. <laughs> the spiel. Let's go ask the college counseling team. Hey, Ms. Kirvin. What's your favorite Purim tradition? Um, I can't wait for the senior spiel. Oh, two spiels in a row. Sir Feldman, what's your favorite? I mean, I love the hamatosh. What, what is it? Hamatosh. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. Hom and Tosh by Mr. Feldman. <laughs> Rabbi BK, what's your favorite Purim tradition? My favorite Purim tradition would be um, seeing my grandchildren in their costumes. That would be way up there. Um, also, I love talking to the students before they create the spiel and discussing with them what is legitimate laughter. That's really good. That's honestly the best answer we've gotten so far. Ah, Misra. Hi. I'm Yisra Al Khai. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on Milken's Morning Show. Bye. I'm Yisra Al Khai.